Mr. President, today I rise once again to urge this body to address the critical issue of securing the border and protecting those young immigrants impacted by an uncertain future of the DACA program. Last week, I offered legislation to extend the DACA protection for three years and to provide three years of increased funding for border security. Unfortunately, some of my colleagues chose to, to block that measure. Let me first say I understand and sympathize with my colleagues' concerns. I, too, believe that uh, DACA recipients deserve a permanent solution, and I've repeatedly stated my strong preference for such a measure. But we've tried to find this permanent solution through Republican-led bills, Democratic-led bills, and bipartisan bills. Yet somehow, each time, we're incapable of finding a compromise that can garner 60 votes here. It's clear that we cannot achieve this goal right now, and no one is more disappointed about that fact than me. I'm the first to admit that this solution I propose is far from perfect, but it provides a temporary fix to those cru crucial and critical problems. It begins a process of improving border security, and it ensures that DACA recipients will not lose protections or be left to face potential deportation. These young immigrants, brought here through no fault of their own, cannot wait for these protections. Now, likewise, border communities like those in my home state of Arizona cannot wait for increased security along the southern border. As I've said before, we in Congress have too regularly confused action with results and have become entirely too comfortable ignoring problems when they seem just too difficult to solve. That's why, if this measure is blocked again today, I'll be returning to the Senate floor repeatedly until we can pass some sort of solution. To put it as bluntly as possible, it's simply not something we can any longer ignore. I'd like to again thank Senator Heidkamp for joining me as a co-sponsor of this bill. She has always been a valuable ally in a bipartisan effort to secure, secure the border and to pass other immigration reform measures. We may, may not be able to deliver a permanent solution to these problems at this time, but we can't abdicate the responsibility of Congress to at one point solve them. There are many people whose lives and well-being depend on our ability to deliver meaningful results. Therefore, Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of calendar number 300, H.R. 1551. I further ask that the flake substitute amendment at the desk be considered and agreed to. The bill as amended be considered read a third time and passed, and that the motions to, be re to uh, reconsider be considered made and laid on the table.